Okay, so we're back uh, with the 48-inch uh, uh, short bow. Uh, yesterday, um, we were actually flattening out one side of the limb, and I did that on this side. Now we're going to work on uh, this limb and flatten this one out. If you recall, I went ahead and cut the uh, thickness uh, taper from uh, uh, a half inch down to uh, three-eighths of an inch. And um, I tried to get as close to the line as I could. Um, but now, um, if you notice, there's a little ridge or a hump uh, you know, in the middle of the limb. And what we have to do now is uh, uh, flatten the limb so that the two edges uh, uh, meet and create a flat surface. Um, what I try to do when I do this, again, as noted on my uh, previous uh, video, what I'll do, I'll wrap uh, the limb down to the line on both sides, and then I'll wrap down the center uh, of the limb to make it flat. Okay, so um, we'll be using a, uh, a rasp uh, today uh, to get that done. So uh, when I get close to that uh, flatter um, surface, we'll turn the video back on and uh, show you uh, what we've got done so far. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, just show you guys a quick uh, demonstration of how I go about doing this. Um, so what I'll do, I'll pass down to the line on both sides and then um, grass down the center of the limb. So that's just a, a, a demonstration of how I'm going to go about doing it. It's going to take some time to do it, obviously, but um, I just wanted to show you guys real quick um, uh, what I actually do to get that done. So uh, I'll turn the video back on again. I'll turn the video back on again when I uh, get down to uh, a flatter surface. Okay, so here we are. Um, I've got the, uh, the limb uh, worked all the way down uh, to the lines more or less. And um, I've got it reasonably, uh, reasonably flat as well. And so what I did is, um, again, just like what we did with the other limb, I pencil marked the entire limb. And um, what I'm going to do now is just uh, keep working the limb to make sure that uh, I am in fact getting all the high spots and uh, making the uh, the two lines um, uh, you know level okay so um, uh, we'll be doing that until we're done and then we'll take the scraper to uh, the bow and get it uh, really flat okay so I got the uh, limb uh, pretty flat now um, just feeling it. Um, so I, I got the limb uh, flat. I rasped it, it down uh, to where it's uh, uh, pretty flat now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my scraper and you can see uh, the scraper sits pretty level uh, on the limb itself. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a couple of passes uh, over the limb uh, just to make sure that you know I, I don't have any high spots or low spots I'm going to color color the uh, the limb with uh, pencil markings again and then uh, take the scraper to it and just make sure that it's uh, uh, really flat once it's flat uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut redraw the tip taper uh, guidelines and then cut the tip tapers and then uh, we'll have a uh, a uh, roughed out uh, shaped uh, bow um, after I get the tip tapers taken out, I'm going to floor tiller it. And then after I floor tiller it, I'm going to uh, put in some, well at least I'm going to try to put in some uh, uh, reflexed uh, uh, limbs or reflex tips on the bow. And um, I'll show you how I do that uh, when it comes time. So 
Here we are, I've got the second limb uh, flattened out and I'm just going to work it with my scraper just to make sure that it is as flat as I can uh, possibly get it. Thanks. Okay, so um, I went ahead and uh, colored the limbs and I went and scraped off the pencil marks with my uh, scraper here. And as you can see, uh, the scraper lays pretty flat on the limb uh, itself. So this limb's a uh, uh, pretty flat and um, I'm now ready to uh, redraw the guidelines for the uh, tip taper and uh, cut the tips. Okay so I've got the limbs uh, worked down and tapered down uh, both uh, the thickness and the width tapers uh, were tapered down to a half an inch uh, from one and a half inches. And uh, I've got the limbs uh, finished out, both limbs. And uh, now we're ready to uh, begin floor tillering the bow. Um, I'll probably do that later on right now. It's probably about 80 degrees, 90 degrees outside. And um, I'm going to take a break. Uh, but before I floor tiller the bow, what I decided to do was scrape off all the tool marks uh, that were left uh, that I saw anywhere because scraping them off is a lot easier than sanding them off. Faster too. So um, I'm going to take some time and uh, just uh, scrape off the tool marks that were uh, left on the limb. Maybe work. I'll probably cut the handle cut the handle out as well uh, before I start tillering. Okay, I done, uh, I'm done uh, scraping down the tool marks and uh, the bow looks pretty clean now. Uh, there's one mark right there that I'm not going to go out because I'm going to cut it off anyway. So what I did, I, I redrew the, uh, the lines for the handle part. That's why I always uh, draw the lines on the back of the bow because now I have uh, guides to mark where I had uh, scraped off the, the old pencil marks and um, I'm able to easily draw redraw any guidelines that I need to draw um, rather than having to measure everything all out again so that's why it's a good idea to draw the bow on the back of the bow as well so that way you can have uh, markers as to where your guidelines are and if you ever have to uh, redraw them for any reason you've, you've got them here so um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, uh, cut out uh, the handle. Uh, you can see that from the two inch line, it's going to taper in and then come in probably about a quarter inch or so and then come back out that way. So I just did it by eyeball and I'm going to take it to the, heck, to the uh, bandsaw right now and cut that off and then uh, rasp it down to the lines and then clean it up before I start tillering. Okay, I went ahead and uh, cut out uh, the handle. It's just uh, very slightly tapered inside. I don't want it to bend too much too much in the handle area. Um, and I rounded off uh, the edges too so it'll be a little bit more comfortable grip. But you can see already that the handle is uh, a little bit narrower than the, uh, than the limbs and uh, it's just perfect for uh, shooting off the hand. Alright, so uh, we're going to let this bow set for a while. I'm probably going to work on it again uh, over the weekend, floor tillering it and uh, uh, getting it ready for uh, final tillering later. Um, then I'm going to recurve the limbs, or uh, not recurve them, but reflex the limbs. Okay, so uh, there you go. There's the bow as it sits right now. Pretty much uh, uh, done as far as uh, the shaping is concerned. Um, so uh, we'll uh, get so we'll uh, get started uh, again uh, over the weekend or after the weekend and um, begin uh, getting it tillered and shaped the tips uh, reflexed and uh, final tillering. I'm going to back this bow with a sinew and then maybe I'll put a piece of rawhide on the back as well. I kind of like working with that stuff. Um, but we'll see what we get out of this. I'm hoping for Again, a 50-pound bow, maybe a little bit heavier, um, but if not, I'll be happy with 45 pounds. And uh, we're going to try to get a 22-inch uh, draw out of it. It's a 48-inch it's a bow, so 
Um, we won't be able to draw it uh, probably any further than 22, 23 inches, something like that. But anyway, uh, so there you go. Um, we'll work on it again uh, uh, tomorrow or over the weekend. Thanks.